Pick my favorites. Pick what you want. Get to know each other through picks. What's your pick? Hello, Maddie Maddie. Yeah. Welcome to Thursday's Hot Beat. Hello. Hello, hello again. <laughs> His nickname Maddie Maddie goes well with his uh, hat today. Maddie Maddie. Yes, if you guys can see on the VOD page or the YT <laughs> channel with this video for our What's Your Pick, you guys can see what kind of hat he's wearing. Yes, sir. But anyways, Maddox, I saw on your social media mm -hmm. that your older sister, Miso, yes. uh, released a new album. Oh, yes, she did. So congratulations to her. Thank you. Oh, wait. Thank you. Well, th um, congratulations, Miso. <laughs> <laughs> You'll give uh, my best regards for me, so instead Defin of me. Okay. Definitely. Good, yes. good, thank you. Mm -hmm. So we've just heard her voice with the song Let It Go, right? And oh. I was did. very surprised. Oh, really? Why? <gasps> because it's very similar to your voice. <laughs> 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 I yeah. mean, I don't know her speaking voice, mm -hmm. so I'm pretty sure it's different because, I mean, she's a girl and you're a guy. Mm -hmm. But the singing voice? Mm -hmm. I, I was like, this is like a, a girl version of Maddox. Oh. If, you know how you know how like um when you can use a tuner, mm -hmm. you can like oh pitch, yeah, yeah, yeah make the pitch go higher. Yeah, you put your voice and pitch the, maybe the pitch go higher. It's your sister's <laughs> voice. Seriously. Was, well, maybe, maybe it, it might be. Yeah. I was so surprised. I was like, what? Isn't this Maddox? <laughs> it was it was me. So, <laughs> whoa. Uh, uh, it's crazy. I I have like a, a a quick a quick story about her album. Okay. Like she. She made like um the she made the album in six days. Oh wow! So she was like in a real real quick rush. I guess yeah rush, yeah. yeah. So yeah. she took six days to make the whole album. Oh my gosh! It's, it's so surprising. I know. Yeah. I guess she was she has already like written songs before, right? Um yeah yeah in the in the past yeah. Mm. But these songs from the sketch to the the studio version. Mm -hmm. It took six days, so I was like, wow. Wow. Wow, you're fast. Probably she didn't even, like, sleep. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't. Oh, no. my yeah. gosh. Wow, her determination <laughs> is very good. It was crazy, yeah. So an interesting part to this promotion of her new album is that you... Mm -hmm. I've been promoting her album like if it's your own album. <laughs> 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 I'm guessing you're really close with your older sister, huh? Yeah, we actually promote um, our, our, our albums... Well, um, Soro. Oh, right. Each other. Like each other. We, pr we, we we try to promote each other like it's our own album. Because mm. since we're like a family, you know. Um, and for me, mm -hmm. she she might she might promote my album just because like I'm a brother or, or something else. I don't know. But uh -huh. I promote her album as an artist. Mm. So I, I don't look at her as like a sister. Well, I do. But I try to look at her like an artist as an artist right her music yeah i do respect her music and i learn a lot a ton of things from her so nice yeah i think that's why i try to promote it a lot you're not you're not in the same agency right uh no we're not okay okay i see, no. I see. good <laughs> So I also have an older sister. Oh, and yeah. Since we both have older sisters, uh -huh. I think uh, we should have like a Nuna older sister talk. Oh, a Nuna talk. Yeah, a Nuna talk. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to ask you some, some questions and answer me, right? Okay. Number one, what do you usually call your older sister? Um, my older sister, I actually call her Mies. Oh, you call her Mies? Mies. Without oh, the O. Without so the it's, O. Yeah, so it's Mies. Mies. <laughs> I just call her, I just call my sister Nuna. Oh Nuna. Yeah. Oh. But except for Nuna, I don't think I've ever called her anything else other really? than her name. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I I actually call her Nuna as well. Yeah. Like in the in the in the Pyeongsue, like daily. Yeah. But I I sometimes call her Mies, and when when we when we live together, mm. I always called her Mies. Mm. So yeah. I, don't know. I, I guess it's like it's... a little like uh nickname for yeah. each other, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Um, number two, when did you most strongly wish that your sister would move out of the house? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, to be honest, uh -huh. um, I don't think the, 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 sib the people who have siblings are listening. I, I don't think the people who, who has siblings mm -hmm. would believe me, but I don't think I've ever thought about this. Really? Yeah. Because like living together, um, I think it's a good thing. Well, mm. for me. 
What well, about, what about you? Ob- obviously, <laughs> it's good. But um, one of the times that I thought that I wished to have my sister was not at our house was uh-huh. when we fought for food. Oh, food! Yeah. Do you do you, do you guys like have different tastes? You know, like this. No, we have similar tastes. Mm-hmm. That's why. Oh. Because really? we will fight for the same food oh, together. Oh, that could happen. Yeah. yeah. And we there's it's not been like once or twice. It's been many times since we fought for food. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> We're both greedy, so. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Number three, when were you most touched by your sister in your life? Um, Any um, touching memories from your sister? Uh, well, I do have. When, when, she, when she gave me some um, yongton. Oh, okay. Uh, some, some money. Some money. Um, I, had, I was like in a really bad time in my life. Because oh. like, I didn't have like no money, um, no house. Like, I do have a house, but a, a place to live by myself. Right. Um, no, nothing. I, I didn't have, like, anything. Mm. So I was just, like, working on my music. Um, didn't have anything. But my sister, she offered me to stay at her house until I get home. Mm-hmm. And she gave me... Um, some, she sometimes gave me money, like... Like s h i m a n o n or to help like, you out, yeah, right, and yeah, that was that was really touching. Oh. Yeah, I remember the moment where my sister actually for my birthday, mm. both of my parents are in Peru, and she was here in Korea with me. Mm-hmm. She actually made seaweed soup for me for my birthday. Oh. Yeah, she made it by hand. I was really surprised. <laughs> yeah, very touching. That kind of moment. Seaweed soup. Yeah, that's like a traditional thing in Korea, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last but not least, uh, what's something that you want to try, uh, want to say to your Nuna on the radio, actually? Um, say something to my Nuna. Yes, so, video message. Yeah. Um, yo, Miso, what's up? <laughs> um, well, your <laughs> album is, is fire. I think a lot of people like it. So I um, keep on the good work. All right. I love you. Okay. Uh, Nuna, Tal c h i n e bye. <laughs> 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 that's that's like yeah. um, reality siblings. Yeah. I mean, we're really close, but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she knows everything. So, yeah. okay, so it is Thursday, second hour with Maddox. What's your pick? We have a game pick to go through right now. Oh yeah, what is our big game pick for today? Okay, so our <clears throat> game pick for today is gonna be I Am Ground ASMR game. Okay. Let's t- let's like talk about something that sounds nice on the radio and try imitate that sound. Okay. And um, as you know, and all the people know, it's a memory game. Uh-huh. And the last one standing is the winner. Okay. Okay. So, uh, mm. talking about this topic, radio to hear good sounds. So, mm. uh, a nice sound on the radio. Mm. What does it have to be? Um. So, like the sound that comes out of the radio. Okay. Um. Maybe like a chk sound. Okay, I, okay. I don't know. Or, 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 or could it be like a word? <gasps> maybe, maybe. Does it have to be like a knock knock sound or? Let's do, let's do all types of sounds for the radio. Mm, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Anything that you could hear on a radio. Hear on a radio? Uh huh. Uh-huh. Like we could say anything. Right. <laughs> we could say anything. Okay. Truly. Okay. Okay, here we so go. So is it, is it like a tampan? Just one game? Just one game. Okay, ASMR. One game. ASMR. You ready? Who's gonna go first? Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot! Oh, yeah. Okay. You go first. I go first? Yes. All right. Okay. Here we go. I, I am good on the. <laughs> Let's do it again. I am... ASMR game. s h e j a c I am good on the ASMR game. s h e j a c Hey, one, two, three, four. four. FM station. FM station. FM station. Water. FM station. Water. Happy. FM station. Water. Happy. DJ. FM station. Yay! I was. 
was thinking what to what to say next. after after yeah next. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Oh, I could see that. I could see that. I forgot it. Oh. <laughs> So the punishment goes to Maddox here. Today's punishment is impersonating Kim So Yeon in the popular drama on air these days, Penthouse. Oh no! It's actually a popular drama even amongst the Hoppy family. Mm-hmm. Oh really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, please read the announcement with the actress's Kim So Yeon's infuriated voice, full of anger. So, uh, how do we participate in What's Your Pick, Maddox? Oh, but there's a problem. I I, I don't watch. <laughs> Oh, I don't watch this watched drama. It. They like, just try can... out like a very infuriative voice, full of like anger, really, like a really vengeance anger voice. Okay, okay. So, so how do you participate? What's your pick? Send us your stories about your favorite psychology test, preference test, this or that <laughs> test, and things that are hard to decide. Please make sure to write what's your pick in, on top of your story and send it to the send message board of Hotbeat's <laughs> website, www.arivangradio slash Hotbeat. And you can also DM Hotbeat's Instagram, Hotbeat0409, or use Arian Radio application <laughs> on your app stores. And you guys can rewatch uh, What's Your Pick segment with Maddox. You can see them on Hoppy's website, VOD page, or by searching Arena Radio on the YT channel. Please watch it a lot. A lot. Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> now let's listen to a song before we come back with more of What's Your Pick. The song is 우리라고 쓰고 싶어, Begin Us by Huns. All right. So that song again was 우리라고 쓰고 싶어, Begin Us by Huns. Let's see our first story for What's Your Pick Now. Our first story is from Vivi from Malaysia. Yes. Hello, Hoan and Maddox. I'm fascinated by the second characters of the K-pop stars, Yu Jae-seok's Jimmy Yoo, Kim Shin-young's uh, Dabi Imo, mm. and etc. Their second characters are even funnier. Yes. If you guys were to make your second characters in 2021, 2021? Right. Yeah. What names do you want to go by? Try making up the characters. It's going to be fun. Interesting story, Ooh, baby. Ooh, interesting. Right, right, right. Um, This might actually take a while to think about the uh, characters' names that we want to, you know, make for yeah. us. But what kind of, like, uh, genres do you want to, like, go for? A genre. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to, what kind of, like, person do you want to be as your second character? Um, I want to be, a, I want to be, like, a, a funny comedian. A funny comedian? Well, I don't think I'm funny, <laughs> but <laughs> maybe, maybe a, um, an actor. Oh, an actor. Yeah. Okay. An actor. So you have an alias name, right, for your actor's name? Yes. Uh, any thoughts? Um... Um, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll give you time to think about it. Okay, okay. Um, for me, I think if I had a double character or a second character, I would make him a, a show host. A show host? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Um, probably have the name of like, I don't know. Hotiriring. I don't know. Something. Hotiriring. Okay. So please welcome Hotiriring, our new MC from for our 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 Thursday show. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. But um, um, if I were able to, you know, host shows like different kinds of shows, mm-hmm. maybe in English, maybe mm-hmm. in Spanish, I think it'll be fun. Mm. So yeah. the name is gonna be Hotiriring, and uh, no, not not. Not hotiriring. Maybe, maybe something else. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think I'm gonna use like a French name. Oh, okay. I don't know. Like Jacques. Jacques. Yeah, Jacques is good. Jacques. Jean Jacques. Jacques. <laughs> I like that name. It goes well with you. Oh really? Yeah, Jack. Oh Jack. Actually, oh. goes well with you. Jack with a with a like a. Or C K or it could be with a Q U E S. Oh, yeah. Jacques. What yeah. do you guys think? What do you guys think? Yeah, happy listeners, give us your info <laughs> on that, an opinion on that. Jacques. We'd we'll love to see some opinions on the second character names before uh, both of us. Okay? Definitely. Oh, we we could like um get some recommendations. Yes. And, yeah. Yes. That'd be fun. Good. <laughs> uh, next story, we have Mia from Indonesia saying, Hodi and Maddox, how are you guys doing? Today, I prepared 10 sentences. Just pick an answer that you want to put into the blanks. Okay. Mm, okay. So, first one. I like soup. You like soup? Yeah. I like coffee. Okay, you like coffee. Uh, Number two, I respect my boss. 
I respect my um my parents. My parents, good. I'm proud of my sister. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say sister as okay, well. Okay, go ahead, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, number four, I wanna hide my personality. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wanna hide my money. Oh, okay. My money. Number five, I can't stop. I can't stop thinking about you. Ooh, oh, there's a song that <laughs> like, goes like that. It is right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't stop. Eating these days. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, true that. Yeah. True that. Uh, number six, I loved my dog. Oh, I was going to say dog as well. Really? I love my dog as well. Okay. Number seven, I want to have... I want to have... Um, Shall I go first? Yeah. I want to have a deep sleep for oh, two days. Deep sleep. Oh, that's actually good. Deep sleep. Oh, I want to have... A trip. A trip? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yes. Number eight, I wish to forget um, my past. Oh, me too. <laughs> my past. <gasps> Number nine, I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of... My, uh, uh, yeah, you my bad habits. Mm. I'm going to get rid of my laziness. Good, good. Yes. Number ten, I want to do... I want to do... All I want to do... <clears throat> uh, I want to do... I want to do some good music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to do a, bla- a backflip. A backflip? <laughs> a backflip. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so those were our answers for those sentences. Mia, thank you so much for that story. And what's your pick? Thank you. Next, we have a message, please. From Marie from Brazil. Yes. Brazil. Yes. Hello, Ho One and Maddox. Hello, hello. How are you all? I hope you guys had an amazing ye- new year. I spent my new year in my church and it was really cool. Right now, here in Brazil, it's really hot. And that got me thinking, would you guys rather spend your Christmas in a cold weather with snow, like one in Korea, or spend Christmas in a tropical country with a hot weather like here in Brazil? Right. I'm 26 years and I have never seen snow. So I would I would really like to spend Christmas in a cold weather for, for change. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also, have you guys ever visited Brazil? If you had, what did you guys thought of it? Mm-hmm. If no, would you guys um, like to visit? And what would you guys like to do here? Lots of love. Have a nice day. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you, Marie. Yes, true that. Christmas in Latin America is in summer. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. So, um, would you rather spend Christmas on a summer day or on a winter day? Uh, for me, I would... Yeah, I would I would like to try a Christmas in a hot day. Really? Like a summer day, yeah. I, I, I haven't spent <laughs> my Christmas like in summer. Have you ever thought about how hard it's going to be for the Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe he would just like send it to, like you know the the e- express places. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, I've experienced both cold weather's and hot weather's for Christmas, right? Mm-hmm. And um, uh, I think I'm gonna say each and one of them has a very kind of different feeling to it. Mm. Yeah, I mean Christmas has that nice snow and the yeah. cold. You need your you know coats on. You have to have like your fireplace and all that stuff. But um, those hot weathers for Christmas is quite interesting too. Oh really? Yeah. Like is there a, like a big difference in your feelings or yes. the environment or something? Both. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. I don't know exactly how to explain and pinpoint exactly yeah. the, <laughs> the the details on yeah. why that is, uh-huh. but it's just very different. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll try that in the future. Yeah, yeah, it's warm. It's warm in Christmas. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's in, that's really interesting. It's interesting, right? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. It is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, oh yeah, Brazil. Uh huh. Have you been there? Yes. Definitely. Yes. I haven't. It's very good. I went to Iguazu. Uh, I, I. Iguazu. Iguazu. It's the, oh. what do you call it? The waterfalls mm-hmm. uh, in Latin America. It's mm-hmm. connected between Brazil 
uh, Uruguay, I think it was. Uruguay. Mm-hmm. Um, Argentina, and it was another country. I can't remember the name. Um, yeah. Yeah. But it's 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 very nice to oh. go to. Yeah. I haven't I haven't been to Brazil. I would love to. It I think it takes like a lot of hours to go to Brazil from Korea. Yeah, from Korea. Yeah, right? of course, of course. Like maybe two one day, probably one day. Probably more than one day. More than one day. Yeah. Oh, in the future, I would I would love to like um, perform in Brazil. That'd good, be good. that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Lola Palooza. Allah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to our next story, we have Mimi from South Africa saying, Hi, Hoan and Maddox. I am really interested in things that can't be seen about, about you guys. Mm. I have this or that questions about what you're more interested in. Just pick the one that you think is more likely to exist. Now, let's start. Okay. Ghost or zombies? Ah, oh. okay. I go with ghosts. ghosts. Yes. Yes. Number two, aliens or past life? One, uh, two, three. Aliens. aliens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, aliens. I don't think, yeah, I don't think past life exists uh, at me all. Me neither. Uh, number three, magic or supernatural powers? One, One two, two, three. three magic. Supernatural powers. <laughs> so magic and super... Yeah. <gasps> This is hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number four, doppelganger or telepathy? One, two, three. Telep- Telepa- telepathy. Te- yeah. Telepathy? Telepathy. Te- oh, yeah. Iron Man or Spider Man? Oh. One, two, three. Iron, Iron Man. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Man is more realistic. Yes. Machine, machine wise. Who, who do you think's like close to Iron Man in like a person that's living right now? I have no idea. Um, But I don't know any robots, so. What about Bill Gates? Bill Gates? Yeah. Ah, oh, kind of like that image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, I see, I see. Bill Gates. Yeah. Or or um multi billionaire yes. out there, probably have his own suit at his house. Maybe maybe even like making those suits. Yeah. Somewhere I don't know. Definitely yeah. Yeah, it could happen. Like, because like, the people can afford it. Yeah. Yeah. They can. They can. Why supernatural power? So like, why why did you why did you choose magic? I chose magic because magic is you know prone to happen. Oh. It it works sometimes, right? Doesn't oh, it, it does. Yeah, like like the like the magic tricks or yeah, the tricks. Oh, do you know David Blaine? I don't know him. He's he's like a, he's like a magician. Yeah, uh, he's good. Yeah, he's good. Okay, he's really famous. So why did you choose supernatural power? Um, I don't know. Maybe supernatural power is cool, and I always think about um like a person. Close to me has superpowers, or myself. Uh-huh. Like I, I imagine myself having superpowers, trying to hide the powers from people around me. Okay, I, I don't know, but I maybe <laughs> maybe there's like a person who has superpowers. superpowers? Okay, yeah. maybe maybe, uh, yeah. <laughs> Even though you believe in like uh, your aliens and all that stuff. <laughs> <but> <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so that were the stories we had until now. Mm-hmm. We're gonna listen to a song before we move on with more of what's your pick. The song is "Kunnen Mam," a strolling heart by Yoon Jin. All right, you guys are listening to the second hour of Thursday again. What's your pick here with Maddox and I, DJ Hoan? We're gonna move on to our next stories for what's your pick. So, Maddox, could you read this one, please? Okay. Our next story is from yes, Kiyom Hori Ducks. Hori Ducks from yeah. Korea. Uh-huh. Hori and Maddox, your psychology tests are always so much fun. So I prepared a psychology test today. Uh-huh. Please enjoy. Okay. Nice. The fir- uh, so the question is: There's a white paper in front of you. Okay. What kind of dog are you gonna draw? Oh. Mm. Mm. So there are actually some uh, uh, choices we can make. Oh yeah, uh, the first one is picture of several dogs playing together. Uh huh. Number two, picture of a dog shaking its tail in excitement. Number three, picture of a dog peacefully sleeping. Uh huh. Number four, picture of a dog holding a bone in its mouth. Mm, so, happy listeners, I want you guys to pick your answers too about this. Again, number one. Several dogs playing together. Number two, a dog shaking its tail in excitement. Number two, peacefully sleeping or a dog holding a bone in its mouth. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Um, do you have any uh, answers? What's your answer for this one? What um, do you think is your choice? My answer is number four. <laughs> a dog holding a bone in its mouth. It's just a copycat. No. Yeah. It's just it's a copycat. Let's. Okay. I'm a copycat. <laughs> Wait, copycat? Copycat. A copycat. <laughs> copycat. <laughs> So, Now this, yeah. Mm, you're gonna, you were, you were gonna choose number four as well. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. So this question is actually a test to see how long you hold your grudges on others. It's a t ah. good holding a grudge oh, test. I don't think this is gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> holding a bone in its mouth. <laughs> Okay, number one. Those of you who picked the picture of several dogs playing together, you are 70% likely to hold a grudge. Oh. Mm. You are the type who keeps thinking about the one thing you can't shake off. Oh, okay. Interesting. And those of you who picked the picture with a dog shaking his tail in excitement, you're 20% likely to hold a grudge. Mm. You're the type who completely forgets about it all once it's over. Interesting. That's cool. That's cool. Number three. Those of you who picked the picture of a dog peacefully taking a nap, you are 100% likely to hold a grudge. Wow. <laughs> so you're the type who hates a person forever wants to get really angry at them. Oh, okay. And last, uh, those of you who picked the picture of a dog holding a bone in its mouth, you're... Zero <laughs> percent likely to hold a grudge. Wow! You're the most simple, uh, simple-minded person who forgets the bad things right away. Okay, interesting. I think it. I think it's a hundred percent right for me. Really? Yeah. Not for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Like for me, after a fight or something like a bad thing or uh-huh. bad news, uh-huh. after I sleep, I forget everything. Interesting. That's yeah. something I'm jealous of. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm kind of like a past memory kind of pl- person. Oh. I can't forget things very easily. But um, these days, grudges. Uh-huh. I used to hold grudges for a long time. Uh-huh. But these days, I've been changing a lot of my personality. And mm. it's become easier for me to forget. Oh. I tend to forget like in a couple of hours. Mm. Yeah. A couple of hours. Yeah. It takes time though. Oh, so so like maybe maybe your your uh, number two, uh maybe maybe twenty percent. But still, I chose the bone one. So the bone one. Yeah, I didn't okay. know that it would mean that way. So maybe maybe it's like a cham c h a m j e like a thing inside, like you're a person who doesn't hold a grudge, inside. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Because you chose number four. Yeah. I mean, I it takes me time these days, but mm-hmm. still, uh, it's gotten quite uh, shorter than before. Mm-hmm. I used to hold grudges for like a week or like a month. Oh, but painful. Now, yeah, but now it's like what three days? No, I mean, I mean, I mean, three hours, five uh, hours. t h r e e hours. And I'll be like, oh, whatever, it's fine. It's like who cares? That's cool. That's and cool. then I forget it. Yeah. Isn't it, isn't it like simple and um, isn't it like more easy? Yeah. To live. And go go on. Yeah. yeah, you don't need to be angry at everything definitely, else. Definitely, yeah. definitely. <laughs> so, um, our PD n i wants us actually to uh, make some expressions for you guys, happy listeners. Okay. So we're gonna do these mad uh, expressions or like face expressions. Okay. And like... also how when we like our our face changes when we're like, you know, out of that grudge. Mm. So. Um, how do how will we do this? So we're gonna we're gonna act with our eyes. Yes. <laughs> so first, you're holding a grudge. Okay. There so, you go. Yeah, we're we're making we're making. Yeah, so we're, we're making, making this making, expression. Yeah. Number three. Uh, mm-hmm. number two. Um, making an expression when you're done with that grudge. You... Peaceful. Peaceful. Very peaceful. Yes. Okay. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so those are some expressions we did on the VOD page. Everyone, look at it at the the video for yes. this segment. <laughs> If you guys want to see us do it. Yeah. Next message we have is from KK from Australia, saying, Ooh. "Hi, Hoan and Dogs. Happy New Year. My question this week: What are your 2021 goals? Is there anything you want to achieve?" Do etc. I hope that 2021 treats us all well. Sending all my love. Ooh. Yes. So, Thank what you. are your 2021 goals, Maddox? 2021 goals. Mm-hmm. Um, I I actually have like an interesting goal. Uh-huh. I don't think it's interesting for everyone, but um, I'm trying to I'm trying to not get love from everyone. Uh-huh. 
like um, I, uh, I I try so hard to make everyone love you. Yes. Mm. Um, and I think that really hurts me inside. Like, oh. Like deeply. So I right. for for 2021, I'm just gonna. You know, focus on myself uh, a bit more. Love yourself more. Yes, love myself more. Other than you know, wanting love from others. Yes, and like matching my matching my feelings to the people around me, or you know, like, you know, I I think I have to like act my act like myself mm. a bit more mm-hmm. for um, uh, confidence. Maybe? Right, right, right. Yeah. So, nice. Yeah, I think that's that's like a a goal, a one goal. Nice. That popped up in my head. Yeah. Nice. Good. Good. Yeah. Um, my actually goal for one of the goals, as you were talking about, uh, yourself. Um, I was going to say, uh, that one of my goals is to become more simple than before. Mm. Yeah, I want to become more simple-minded, simple-minded. Like, if it's that, then it's that. Then just do it. You know. Oh. Don't overthink about it. You don't. Don't go be like. <laughs> What should I do? What should I do now? It's what is this and what is that? You know, nothing about that. Just do it. That's cool. Yeah, it's your job. Just do it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's your job. Just do it. Exactly. Simple. Do simple. It. Easy yeah. peasy. Easy peasy. Oh, that's yeah. I I wish I wish I could have that as well. I want that kind of mentality. Definitely. Okay. Uh, last but not least, one more message, please, Maddox. Uh, let me read it. Okay. Okay. Uh, AD from Philippines says, Happy New Year, Hoan and Maddox. First of all, just want to say thank you for year 2020 that you guys brought smile and laughter to all of us. I uh, hope this new year, year 2021 has been good to the both of you so far. I just want to say that I enjoyed the new song, Call Me Anytime by the KQ Entertainment artist. And of course, with Maddox. And guess what? I made my first uh, blank talk video ever because of that. I didn't dance, though. I was just vibing to that new song while holding my signed CD from Maddox. <gasps> nice. Oh, yeah. Hey, you can say I'm going to try to come out my shell this year. Mm. What about you guys? Number one, anything you'd like to try which is exciting or new to you? Number two, mm. any plans to do uh, blank talk videos? And number three, how do you plan to keep in touch with your fans this year? Looking forward to more of your activities soon. Uh, thank you. Love you. Keep safe, says oh. uh, AD from Philippines. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, it sounds good that you have my sign CD. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's amazing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was not last year, right? Um, did you send some like science cities? To yeah, yeah, fans? yeah. I did. <gasps> you did. Yeah. Ooh, nice. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's very okay. considerate of your fans. Good. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Um, what about talk? To, tell me about this song. About the song. Oh, okay. So yeah. this song, um, call me anytime. I think mm-hmm. that's the title, right? It is. <laughs> yeah, call me anytime. It's it's a song um, produced by uh, Eden. Uh-huh. He's he's like our, a producer and artist in our company. He he does this monthly um, project oh. every every month. Mm-hmm. And the last like 2020 December song was call me anytime, and it was made by our 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 family mm-hmm. KQ family. Right. And yeah, we we like made a uh, music video. We uh, self self recorded our videos, oh, our clips, oh. and then like you know you know the one yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah Ariana yeah. Grande yeah yeah, yeah 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 stuck with you yeah 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 yeah, yeah it's 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 a mu- uh, music video just like that it so, nice. yeah it's funny it's funny good I think, I think it's hilarious yeah but. Yeah, Thanks. have your listeners, you guys should go watch this music video by uh, the KQ Entertainment family members. Yes, Very it's good. fun. Very good, very good. Um, I think this question could be a good one to answer. How do you plan to keep in touch with your fans this year? Uh, How do you keep it uh, plan um, to do so? Well, it would be best to see you guys in person. Obviously. Um, but I think the only way to um, interact with fans is through live, live videos mm. or just messaging. Like, oh, you, know, you know the the bird the bird SNS or you know the <laughs> Insta thing. All right, right, yeah. right. Try true, true, true. Mm-hmm. What are you? I think that's also a good way. Uh, having those live uh videos online as well as you know leaving some letters on the fan cafe, etc. Mm. All that stuff. It's true. You need to have some good activities for your fans, right? Definitely. Yeah, because they're like with waiting them. or something. Exactly. Yeah. 
All right, so those were all of our stories for What's Your Pick for today. Everyone, thank you so much for sending us messages. And now we're going to play the song called Call Me Anytime by Eden, A.G.'s, Maddox, and Eden Airy as we say goodbye to Maddox. So, Maddox, I guess I'll see you next week's Thursday Hot Beat. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye.